Hello, hola, bonjour, welcome to our channel. My name is Bertold. I'm 24 years old. I was born and raised in Yaoundé, Cameroon. My first language is French. I learned English in the United States. I came to the United States about six years ago where I studied computer science and mathematics and I have received my bachelor's in those two fields. Hi, my name is Adelia. I was born and raised in Southern Maryland. I recently got my bachelor's in biology and I have a double minor in Spanish and information systems. I ethnically identify as African American and Nicaraguan. I also speak Spanish. So we are a young married couple who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm going to get into the things that are foundational to our faith in Jesus Christ, the things that we believe in. I will not get into an in-depth teaching of what we believe in, but I'm going to lay down certain critical points that are important pillars of our faith believe in salvation through confession of Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. We believe there is only one God the living and true God who is the one being in three persons. We believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as three in one. And we believe that the Father is distinct, the Son is distinct, and the Holy Spirit is distinct. There are three distinct personalities. We also believe that the Bible, the Holy Bible, is the inspired Word of God. We believe that Jesus Christ was conceived of the Virgin Mary, that He is the only begotten Son of of the Father. Jesus was crucified, Jesus was buried, and he rose on the third day. He ascended to heaven and is today seated at the right hand of God. Jesus is alive. We believe that we are justified and declared righteous by the blood of Jesus when we repent for our sins and believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit with speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives all trends to be the initial evidence of this experience. We believe in the operation of the nine gifts of the Spirit and encourage everyone to live so that these gifts may manifest in their lives. We believe in water baptism by the immersion in water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe in the divine healing of the body. We believe in divine healing is for everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe in the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe that you must be born again in order to spend eternity with the Lord Jesus. We believe in the communion and the Lord's or the Lord's Supper as an ordinance given to all believers by Jesus Christ to remember his sacrifice for us and to symbolize the new covenant by his blood that was shed for us. We believe in the sacredness of marriage between one man and one woman and family commitment. We promote family values. We believe in the continuation of the ministry of Jesus through believers in the power of the Spirit. And we believe in deliverance from strongholds, from mindsets, and from demons by the power in the Holy Spirit. The purpose of our channel is to pioneer a path for the youth to follow. The Lord has given us a scripture in Amos that I'm going to read, which is the main pillar that we stand on with regards to all of our content. The Lord God says, Look, the days are coming when I will cause a famine in the land. The people will not be hungry for bread. They will not be thirsty for water. No, they will be hungry for words from the Lord. Amos 8, 11. The youth is tired of religion. The youth is tired of being pre having prejudice just because of our age and just because of the fact that a lot of young people are not really engaged in the church nowadays. Why is that the case? It's because there's just been so much push of religion and there's not been enough emphasis on the genuine, tangible love and power of the Holy Spirit. One of the things the Lord had put on our heart was that He revealed to us the burden He had 
put a heavy burden on the both of us with regards to the next generation. From the older generations, there have been, unfortunately, a lot of instances of hypocrisy within the church. So much that the youth is swayed and just not interested in engaging with anything regarding having an authentic relationship with Jesus Christ. Many attend church, but go back to the same way of living. Many struggle with secret sins and don't share any of this among people within the church because they feel they don't have a space to talk about these things. Or maybe it's too taboo because of how religious we've become as a body of Christ. The Lord is shaking the foundations of the churches because he wants revival. Right now, the Lord has instructed the both of us to make these platforms because he wants to bring the youth to understanding that the power of the Holy Spirit that was demonstrated through the authentic word of the Bible is still able to be manifested today. And we both want the youth to see that it's possible to live a consecrated life through the power of the Holy Spirit. We don't speak on our own authority, but off the authority of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? It means that we weigh our words carefully and we take everything into prayer and consideration with the word of God to make sure the content we produce is only Holy Spirit led and it will be something that can glorify Lord Jesus Christ. One thing that the Lord has really been placing on my heart with regards to our platforms is that he wants the youth to have a path to follow. We're dedicated to having all of our content consecrated by the Holy Spirit and we want our content to deliver, to heal, and to shed light on the things that the youth cares about, that the youth wants to have so they can have an outlet to relate to. Thank you so much for your time and for listening to the both of us. See you next time. Thank you. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and please comment below where you're watching from. And please don't forget to follow us on all our other platforms. Thank you. Bye. Bye.